George Alexander Trubick was a Canadian-American television personality and game show host. He was the host of the syndicated game show Jeopardy! for 36 years from its revival in 1984 until his death in 2020. He also hosted a number of other game shows, including The Wizard of Odds, Double Dare, High Rollers, Redless Stars, Classic Concentration, and To Tell the Truth. Trebek also made appearances in numerous television series, in which he usually played himself. A native of Canada, Trebek became a naturalized United States citizen in 1998. He received the Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Game Show Host seven times for his work on Jeopardy. On November 8, 2020, Trebek died at age 80, after a nearly two-year battle with pancreatic cancer. He had been contracted to host Jeopardy. Until 2022, Trebek was born in Sudbury, Ontario, Canada, on July 22, 1940, the son of George Edward Trebek, née Terbichuk a chef who had emigrated from Ukraine as a child, and Lucille Lagasse, born April 14, 1921, a Franco-Ontarian. He grew up in a bilingual French-English household. Trebek's first job was when he was 13. He was a bellhop at the hotel where his father worked as a chef. Trebek attended Sudbury High School, now Sudbury Secondary School, and then attended the University of Ottawa. Trebek graduated from the University of Ottawa with a degree in philosophy in 1961. While a university student, he was a member of the English Debating Society. At the time, he was interested in a career in broadcast news. Before completing his degree, Trebek began his career in 1961 working for the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation. According to Trebek, I went to school in the mornings and worked at nights. I did everything at one time replacing every announcer in every possible job. He would eventually read the CPC National Radio News and cover a wide range of special events for CPC Radio and CPC Television, including curling and horse racing. Trebek's first hosting job was on a Canadian music program called Music Hop in 1963. In 1966 he hosted a high school quiz show called Reach for the Top. From 1967 to 1970 he was a host for the CBC, introducing classical music programs including performances by Glenn Gould. For one or two seasons he hosted a weekly skating program. Starting in spring 1969, Trebek also hosted Strategy, a weekday afternoon game show. From 1971 until the end of 1972, Trebek hosted I'm Here Till 9, the local morning drive radio show on CBC Toronto. In 1973, Trebek moved to the United States and worked for NBC as host of a new game show, The Wizard of Odds. A year later Trebek hosted the popular Merrill, Keater Bob Quigley game show High Rollers, which had two incarnations on NBC, 1974-76 and 1978-80 and an accompanying syndicated season, 1975-76. In between stints as host of High Rollers, Trebek hosted the short-lived CBS game show Double Dare, not to be confused with the 1986 Nickelodeon game show of the same name. Double Dare turned out to be his only game show with the CBS network. He returned to CBS in 1994 to host the Pillsbury Bake Off until 1998, and the first show he hosted for what was then Mark Goodson Bill Taubman Productions, as well as the second season of the syndicated series The $128,000 Question, which was recorded in Toronto. Since the second incarnation of High Rollers premiered, while the $128,000 question was still airing and taping episodes, Trubick became one of two hosts to MC shows in both the United States and Canada, joining Jim Perry, who was hosting Definition and Headline Hunters in Canada, and Card Sharks, which coincidentally premiered the same day as High Rollers in 1978 in the United States. Trebek's francophone side was put on display in 1978, in a special bilingual edition of Reach for the Top and its Radio Canada equivalent, Gainies and Herb. In this show Trubick alternated smoothly between French and English throughout. Like other hosts of the day, Trebek made several guest appearances as a panelist or player on other shows. One of his guest appearances was on a special week of NBC's Card Sharks in 1980. He and several other game show hosts, Alan Ludden, 
Bill Cullen, Wink Martindale, Jack Clark, Gene Rayburn, and Jim Lang competed in a week-long round-robin tournament for charity. Trebek won the tournament, defeating Cullen in the finals. Trebek also appeared as a celebrity teammate on the NBC game show The Magnificent Marble Machine in 1975, and the Tom Kennedy hosted NBC Word Game to say the least in 1978. On October 1, 2018, Trebek moderated the only debate in the Pennsylvania governor's race, between Democrat Tom Wolfe and Republican Scott Wagner. According to news outlets, he wanted to change the flow of the debate to be more conversational, instead of the more traditional format. He dominated the debate and talked for 41% of it, often talking about himself without giving candidates time to discuss their stances on political issues. He also made remarks regarding the sexual abuse scandals in the Catholic Church. Trebek later apologized for his performance, stating that he was naive and misunderstood the role of a moderator. I offer my sincere apologies to the people of Pennsylvania, a state I dearly love, he said. On January 2, 2020, ABC ran a special of Michael Strahan interviewing Trebek, featuring a behind-the-scenes look at the taping of Jeopardy. It was an exclusive interview at home with Trebek and his wife, Jean. A look back at the show's most memorable moments and contestants. On October 6, 2020, Trebek made a cameo appearance in the 2020 NHL entry draft, announcing the Ottawa Senators' as third overall draft pick, Tim Stutzel, in the style of a Jeopardy. Question. Trebek married broadcaster Elaine Callie in 1974. The couple had no children, although Trebek adopted Kelly's daughter Nikki. They divorced in 1981. In 1990, he married Jean Carriven, a real estate project manager from New York. They had two children, Matthew and Emily. In 1996, Trebek ran the Olympic torch in Jacksonville, Florida, through a leg of its journey to Atlanta. He became a naturalized citizen of the United States in 1998. In late 2001 during Jeopardy's 18th season, Trebek shaved the mustache that he had worn for over 30 years. He wore a fake mustache for the first half of the April 1, 2008, episode as an April Fool's joke. In summer 2014, Trebek regrew the mustache for the 31st season of Jeopardy, only to shave it off again a month into the season. Trebek grew out a full beard at the beginning of the 2018 season shaving it down to a goatee for the second episode, and a mustache by the second week, and the next day was clean-shaven again. On January 30, 2004, Trubick escaped major injury, after falling asleep behind the wheel of his pickup truck while driving alone on a rural road in the central coast town of Templeton, California, returning from a family home in Lake Nascimento. The truck sideswiped a string of mailboxes, flew 45 feet over an embankment, and came to rest against the utility pole in a ditch. Trubick was not cited for the accident and returned to work taping Jeopardy. Four days later, Trubick owned and managed a 700-acre, 283 hectares ranch near Paso Robles in Creston, California, known as Creston Farms, where he bred and trained thoroughbred race horses. His colt Rebus Gold is the stakes-winning son of Sluo Gold. Trebek sold the operation in 2008, and the property is now an event center called Windfall Farms. In a 2018 interview with Vulture, Trebek said he was a political moderate and registered independent, neither conservative nor liberal, with some libertarian leanings. Trebek stated he believed in God as a Christian. During the 2019 gubernatorial debate, he said he was raised Catholic during his childhood and adolescence. On December 11, 2007, Trebek suffered a minor heart attack at his home, but returned to work as scheduled in January 2008. In July 2011, he entered an Achilles tendon while chasing a burglar who had entered his San Francisco hotel room, requiring six weeks in a cast. Trebek suffered another mild heart attack in June 2012, but was able to return to work the following month. Join me as I continue in my next episode. If you enjoyed this episode, kindly subscribe, like and share with friends and family to promote the channel. Don't forget to leave your comments. Thanks.